Hello, everybody. Welcome to the exercise. In this exercise, we will learn how to use regular expression in Python. To use regular expression, we need to first import our e module. After we import the R E module, we can start using regular expression. I will introduce some useful functions in the R E module to you. First, the match function. Match function will search for a match from the start of the given string. However, it cannot search a match from the middle of a text. Here we find the span of the match is position 0 to 3. If we want to look for a match anywhere in the text, use search. Since regular expression allows us to search with patterns, there are lots of symbols we can use to represent different character pattern. These symbols are called meta characters. For example, dot means any character. Star means zero or more occurrences. So dot string means any character repeated zero or more times. This pattern means any string followed by a space, followed by r smarter than, followed by a space, followed by any string. The string inside the parenthesis is stored as group. We can get those group with a group method. Here, this is the first group, and this is the second group. Here we can see the first group is cats and the second group is fish. We can also use re.compile to find pattern. re.compile.search is equivalent to re.search. Here we set the pattern to find one or more digits. Backslash lower d means digit and plus means one or more. With match method, regex will only find pattern that matches from the beginning of the text. So we cannot find any matches here. With search method, we can find the first match anywhere in the text. So we will find one, two. Let's see more examples. Say we want to retrieve the phone number in this text. We can remove everything that is not needed. To do this, we can use the sub method. Sub method will replace the matches in the text with another string. What we are doing here is replace any string that starts with a hash symbol with an empty string. We can also remove everything that is not digit. To do this, we can use backslash upper D. Backslash upper D means anything but digit. So this line means replace anything but digit with an empty string. Here's another example. Say we want to find all the numbers in this text. We can use the find all method to do so. Here, backslash lower d means digit. So this means one or more digits. This 0 to 9 also means digit. And the numbers in the curly braces 2, 5 specifies the occurrences. 2, 5 means 2 to 5 digits. So we will not find single digit. This is four digits. This is two digits, four digits, and two digits. If we want to find all the words in the text, we can use this pattern. This means any alphabet, including lowercase and uppercase. And plus means one or more. 
So this pattern finds all the substring that consists of one or more alphabets. We can also find all the symbols. Backslash upper W means anything excluding alphabets, digits, and underscores. If we want to find all the words and numbers, we can use this pattern. This means every alphabet and digit, and this means one or more. Let's see another example. Say we want to find email address in a string. We can use this pattern. And don't forget to escape the dot symbol because it represents any character in regex. To find the URLs, use this pattern. The question mark means one or zero. So S over here is optional. We can also use regex to filter HTML content. With this pattern, Regex will find the first match, so we will get the outer DID. If you use this pattern, Regex will find the last match, so we will get the inner DID. Okay, this is the end of exercise 6. Thank you for watching.